Wait, now, so did you did you say you, the season season ten's been out here, right? Season ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it? You just quit? You're done? You're done? Just lost interest halfway through. You know how you... <laughs> yes, honey? Okay, um, like, you know how in the series you're like always withholding the star? Uh-huh. Um, why is it that in the movie you're not really holding one or even using it? That's a very good question. Um... The staff <laughs> has been an ongoing source of pain in my butt. <laughs> um, I, the, well, the, the staffs, not to say that they were ill-conceived, but the staffs are about eight feet long, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but most of the doorways on the show <laughs> are just over six feet. And most of the ceilings that you see are just over six feet. So for, for years, we would have to do multiple takes because anytime I entered or left a room, the staffs would either hit the ceilings or hit the door frames or hit people or be behind someone. It would, it, like there were so many shots that if I was behind Rick, if I'm Rick, it would look like this. <laughs> So we'd have to reshoot stuff, and uh, so that, that's one reason the Zats were created, so that we wouldn't have to, so that, okay, okay. <laughs> because I had moaned and complained so much about the staffs, and, but also the directors and everybody else, that we had to create another weapon that, that I could carry around that wouldn't be so cumbersome and, and that. So as we went on, we tried to get rid of the staffs, but MGM came back to us and said, no, he's got to carry the staff more because his action figure carries the staff. <laughs> you guys all have the action figure, right? Yeah, so that's the only reason, kind of, that they even stuck around at all. Um, and, the, and, and the reason that we really don't use them anymore is just they're just too cumbersome, they're too, and they're too unwieldy to really fight with. And great that the first time we ever used them, they had, uh, so of all those, there's only about, there were only about four staffs that actually open up, you know, when, they, when you're gonna fire and someone goes, you know, because it charges. So there's only like four of those. And then they, and then we used to have about eight that were open all the time. And they would have these little um, uh, uh, charges in them so, so that they could do the, the laser hits on it. And, uh, the, but then they had a bunch of different ones that everyone uses in this. <laughs> You think we actually saw the real moon landing. Um, <laughs> and so the, the first day that we shot the pilot, so they had, but they had hundreds of those. We broke like 40 something staffs the first day of the, of, the, of the pilot. So that should have told them right there that maybe these staffs weren't that. <laughs> Tell me story, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and, but that, that is why we don't, the staffs are not really in evidence. And the only time they really show themselves is, is when there's Jafai episodes. <laughs> okay. So, have you read any good fan fiction? <laughs> Let's all sit here and read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> uh, Chris will be um, on stage at 2 o'clock with all of our celebrity guests on one big panel and of course he'll be signing autographs this afternoon. If I, but, uh, and next up will be our animation panel, so if, if you want to check that out it's something cool. But if I can have a huge round of applause for Mr Christopher Judge. <laughs> Just as a reminder, Stargate Ark of Truth is now on DVD, Whitcalls are selling it. It would be a superb opportunity to buy a copy and get him to sign a copy. Okay, um, the DVD's got some great commentary on it, it's got some behind the scenes stuff, a whole stick of cool things. Party on, guys. That hurt! <laughs>